Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kahila or K, and today's video I am so excited for it because it's gonna take me a little bit. It has taken me a little bit already because I have been crocheting off camera. Let me show you what I have been doing. I crocheted all of these squares. These are 50 squares. And then I just finished crocheting another 24 squares to get me a total of 74 squares. I am making a crochet patchwork jumper. So I made a patchwork sweater. It was supposed to be a cardigan, but it ended up turning like a turning into like a jacket or sweater or whatever. It was like the Harry Styles one. I'll link it up here for you guys. And that got me into patchwork, but I was working on a tapestry, link that video up there, <laughs> for a while. So I haven't been able to dabble into many projects like I really wanted to, besides like little amigurumi ones, like the peach that I made or like the whale and stuff. So now I'm able to dabble back into some clothing, which is what I'm, I've been wanting to do. So my sister sent me her pattern for her little patchwork jumper and here I am. It's currently, first of all, let me tell you guys what time it is. It's 7 p.m. March 23rd and I am getting ready to watch Blacklist with my sister. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna be on a floor with all my squares out and then I'm gonna start sewing these squares together. So I still have to do the ribbing, the collar, the ribbing for the, wait, no, I'm not doing a cardigan, oh God. Okay, so I still need to do the neck the ribbing for the bottom, the ribbing for the cuffs, or I guess we just called it the cuffs. And then, yeah, everything else. So my squares, these squares right here, I chain 19, go into 18 of them, and there are 15 rows of half double crochet. And yeah, I thought I was gonna tell you guys more, but I wanted to save the ribbing and the collar and the cuffs and stuff for last because I like to, well, now I like to sew my squares together. I want, I was like, I'm gonna crochet all of the squares at once and then I'll get to everything else. So come with me as I sew all of these squares together and see how long it takes me to complete this patchwork jumper. All of my squares. Okay, so I'm in my sister's room now. I'm about to put all of my, well, not all of my squares. I'm gonna put my squares out for, let's call it the back panel, and then I will start sewing it together.
I got two... Is this zoomed in? Okay, I knew something was wrong. I got two rows done. I have all this to go. Three rows. And I really can't stand this yarn. But I had it, so I just wanted to use it. And my cat is scratching. So ignore that. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do for tonight. And then I'll do this, like, some of it tomorrow. And I'll update you guys. So, yeah, see you tomorrow. Right, guys hey it's a new day as you can probably tell and let me show you the back panel that I have done I put it all together and ah, oh, I am so excited because I already got my back panel back panel I got my front panel colors together and then I decided to put out my sleeves together to see like you know the pattern little random pattern that I want and ah, I got it also you guys Furls came out with a new hook and I got the new hook. It's a Pisces Streamline Swirl Hook. So beautiful. And then I got another hook that I didn't have in a Streamline Swirl today as well. And now I just need three more Streamline Swirl hooks and I'll have the entire Streamline Swirl collection. So exciting. I'll show you guys that later. Anyway, let me put out the back panel. Did I say I was completely done? Because I'm not completely done. I just put all the rows together. So let me stop talking and show you guys what it looks like. All right, here it is, guys. As you can see, I have all of these together. And now I just need to sew them all together. But I'm not going to yet because I want to get this front panel. This is the front panel done. And then I have the two sleeves right here. So I'm going to sew this all together and then I'll show you guys what it looks like and then I'll sew the sleeves together and then once everything all the squares are sewn together I will start sewing the panels together also here it is okay let's put this right here so I have all of my size six hooks right here these first four and then I have my size eight hooks because I use chunky yarn sometimes as well and I just need three more hooks and then I'll have the entire collection so I just got this one I forgot what this one is Taurus maybe I'm not sure it's awesome I think that's Taurus this is Virgo and then this is Pisces so so exciting I just need three more but look at these beautiful hooks these are the only hooks I use I only use furls hooks I found them through my sister and now I just I can't go back all right guys if you hear stuff in the background my sisters are getting ready one's blow drying her hair they're listening to music talking but I want to film so I'm going to film anyway my bangs are like everywhere but who cares I have finished sewing the squares for the sleeves all together and now I have the I don't know what panel this is front or back panel either one I have one of the front or back panels right here on the bed ready to be sewn together so let me show you my finished sleeves well the sleeves aren't finished finished I still have to add the ribbing and stuff to it but we'll get to that but let me show you what it looks like right now and then I'll show you what I'm about to do with the front or back panel. All right, these are the sleeves. So this is what it looks like all sewn together. This is the other sleeve. So all I have to do is add the ribbing to it and then like sew it together like this. Basically add the ribbing. And here on this side, we have the panels. It's all like messed up and stuff. The cat stepped all over it, but anyway. I add stitch markers to it so that it can be pretty aligned as much as possible. And this is how I am sewing it. I slip stitch it together to sew it. So I have yarn and then I just slip stitch these two together instead of using a darning needle and like going through it. I don't like doing that. For me, 
I feel like it doesn't hold as well. I'm gonna be sewing this panel together and then I will probably be back when I finish it and I'll show you guys what it looks like. so windy outside my hair is wild sorry anyway I as you guys saw I guess I got three rows sewn together this is what it looks like so exciting so I have two more rows to add to this panel and then I'll be done but right now I'm gonna take a break from crocheting because I have to go into my manuscript and do some editing if you guys don't know I'm a writer as well as a crochet artist so I write, that's my main gig, I guess. And yeah, I also have a writing channel. I'm gonna be filming for that channel today. That channel is always linked below if you wanna see some of my, see my writing journey, my soon to be author journey. Anyway, taking a break from crocheting right now. I'll probably be back later tonight after I'm done with editing. It's currently 11.56 a.m. and I'm gonna use like most of the rest of this day to do some editing so I'll probably be back tonight if I'm not back tonight I'll be back tomorrow so I'll see you guys whenever I'm back I finished sewing both front and back panels together like not the front and back panel together together but separately I've sewn all the squares together all the rows together and also the sleeves if I didn't tell you guys before so let me show you everything before I start on the ribbing and the sewing of the sleeves together. Here it is. I have the panels like this because I'm going to fold it together and put it to the side and then sew it together later. But here we are all sewn together. So this is the front and back panel and then I have the sleeves right here. So I already put my stitch markers so that I can sew it together and it can be nice and even. So I'm gonna sew the sleeves together like this and like this, and then I'll get started on the ribbing. Eee! So close to being done, oh my gosh. Hey guys, so uh, I have sewn my sleeves together, you know, folded it in half and sewed it together. And this is what it looks like. Let me put my arm in it. Ah! This is so cool. So this is what it's looking like. And I just got done doing the ribbing for the cuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and start sewing this into this small thing. Oh my gosh. I just need to sew this together and then I will start. I'll actually get my darning needle crazy or sewing needle or tapestry needle whatever you want to call it and I will actually instead of slip stitching everything together I'm going to be sewing this into this cuff because I need to like cinch this basically to fit here oh I haven't done this since I did my Harry Styles Patrick cardigan thing so here we go let's see how this goes and then after I'm done I'm going to make the other cuff before I do any sewing and then 
And then I'll start, I'll probably either sew it together or I will start on the ribbing for, you know what, I think I won't sew it just yet. I'll start on a ribbing for the bottom of the jumper. Yeah, I'll do that and then I'll just start sewing everything together. Yep, sounds like a plan. So I will just film myself doing that and then I'm so excited. So I got this like pattern basically from my sister. I have her channel linked down below. Her name is Mr. Bobvin. She's actually coming out with a tutorial on how to do this. So whenever she does, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, I got it from her. So, <laughs> so cool. Anyway, let me get started with sewing this together, doing the other ribbing and yeah. Hey guys, I, it's dark. It's the same day. Did I even tell you guys that it was a different day? Anyway, who cares? So anyway, I am done with my bottom ribbing. I had to use two colors and it is 170 rows. Okay, I did, what did I do? Oh, I did a 12 stitches, 12 chains, and then in 11 stitches and 170 rows. Half double crochet. Front loop only for me because I'm left-handed. So I have to do front loop only to get this nice ribbing effect. So now that I'm done with this ribbing, I'm gonna take my two sleeves, my two cuffs, and start sewing the sleeves to, well, sewing the cuff to the sleeve, but I guess I am still sewing the sleeve to the cuff because they are coming together. All right, so I'm gonna sew the cuffs to the sleeves and then I will sew the panels together and then I'll sew the sleeves to the panels and then I'll do the collar last and I'll be done guys, I'll be done. I don't even know how long I've been working on this. I know it's been more than a week because I'm a writer so crochet does not come first, writing does. But I've been trying to make time for this because I want to post this video and I'm trying to complete crochet projects within a week so that I'm able to have a video for you guys at least once a week. And I'm trying to do clothing now instead of like I'm a groomy stuff just because clothing gives me more satisfaction. I don't know if that contradicts anything I've said in my earlier videos, but this is my new statement. Anyway, time to sew these together, so let's get it.
I am back guys. I should probably tell you guys what time it is. I've been working on this all day. It is 9.50. 9.50 p.m. And I just might finish this tonight, which is weird because I did not plan on finishing it tonight. So anyway, this is what the panel, uh, the panel, the sweater is looking like, or jumper, whatever, sweatshirt, whatever. It's okay. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I have sewn this part together, this part together. So I have like the little head part right here where I'll be sewing the collar and stuff. And then I have this part open for the sleeve. And then I've sewed all this. I have the bottom part open, of course. And then I have sewn the other side together and left the sleeves. So now I'm going to sew the sleeves together. Uh, oh, I'm going to sew the sleeves to this. And yeah, then I'll just attach the ribbing and then do the collar neckline and then I'll be done, which is so crazy. So let's see how much I can actually get done. on the background it's the fan but this is what it's looking like so far so I just need to add the bottom ribbing which is right here then I just need to do the collar part which is this part right here and then I'll be done guys but I attached the sleeves oh, this is so freaking cool guys this is my first jumper like ugh. This is so cool. So let's sew on the ribbing. Right, guys it is 11 48 p.m. and I am done so this is what it looks like I finished the collar part I'm gonna put it on tomorrow and show you guys what it looks like on me but I'm going to bed okay goodbye I am done guys it's the next day like I said I will show you guys what this looks like Boom, boom, here we go. I made the ribbing like too long, so I just like, <laughs> I had to sew it like that. But you know, it's totally okay. Look at this, the back, the side, the side. I'll also insert some pictures because I took some pictures this morning. So like I said earlier, this pattern was, is, is a pattern that my sister, Mr. Bob Vin, no, that's not her legal name. <laughs> She's right next to me laughing, but uh, that's her name that she gave herself. Her channel is linked down below. It's a pattern that she created. She'll be coming out with that soon. I will also try to remember to link it in this video. This is her pattern. She's gonna have a video, a tutorial, and a pattern. So boom, boom, I added an extra row because I wanted it longer than what she had. She likes stuff to end at her like waist. And I'm like, um, <laughs> I like things to reach my thighs. Okay, so I made it longer for myself. Oh, this was such a fun project. This was my first ever jumper, you guys. First ever jumper, the second clothing that I've ever made. The first one was that hairstyles jacket thing back when I barely knew how to 
crochet anything. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. If you guys have any other patterns you would like me to try out, link that below because I love trying new things. I'm into clothes now, so if you guys see any like clothing pattern that you would like me to try, please link it down below because I'm always trying to get better at my skills, okay? Other than that, that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. And also, if you wanna keep in touch with me and see all the behind the scenes of what I'm doing, go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting on my stories and I'll see you guys in my next video.